Hey guys, so I'm here with a, um, <clears throat> I guess doing my nails video. Uh, but anyway, so I got this for Christmas. Uh, Gracie got it for me. And this is from the company called Savaland, I guess is how you pronounce it. But this is dipping powder and it's a starter nail kit. Um, so anyways, it's pretty much basically like the other one that I shared with you guys. Um, but there's like three different steps to this one. Um, so anyways, I'm just reading this. Um, okay, so this comes with all of these. Tons of all different kinds. Um, <clears throat> so, y'all, I have been sick um, all week. I come down with COVID, and I have been extremely sick. And today's the first day that I've even felt like doing like anything with my nails or anything. I did take the the nail polish that I had on yesterday off, um, but I can't wait to do this. So, um, I couldn't find all of my other supplies that I normally do with my nails. So, I'm gonna have to go in here and get a toothpick to do like the corners and stuff whenever I get too much powder on my nails. So anyways, I have this color here and this color here is what I'm gonna be using. And this one is violet. I know the lighting in here is not that well, but, and then this one here is sequins. So I'm gonna do these two colors. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, so <clears throat> now what we're going to do, I just have this for when I need it. And if you hear a racket over here, it's my ice maker. But y'all, I have been so sick. It's been horrible. Like, oh my gosh, it's been so bad. Okay, so got my brush to do like the access to brush that off so it says you need one and these do come with like a little top layer here So let's try this. And I can't remember. Hold on, guys. After the base coat covering the edges, let dry for one minute. Okay, so I'll do the activator, I'll let it dry for one minute. So I haven't tried this brand before and today we're going to try it. And I'm kind of afraid to do like to brush it off too much until I know how this is going to work. Some of it don't work too well. <clears throat> well, not from this brand. I've not tried this brand before, but some of it when you like 
brush it with your brush, it comes off in chunks, so I'm afraid to So you literally just put it down in there and then like tap it a little bit and then blow it and you can use your brush if you need to. It's just the way that I do it. So I'm gonna open this one up. Oh, this one has, this one has like little glitter in it. Yeah, y'all, today is the first day that I've had any energy. I have been so sick. It has been I'm telling you, one thing right after the other. Okay, now let's try this one. Ooh, it's kind of sparkly. And then we're going, and I'm going to have to put several layers on this to make it darker. But what I did learn, um, when I've done this previously with the other uh, dipping stuff that I've had, um, make sure the edges is cleaned off real good or otherwise that's when it like, you know, doesn't stay on long enough. All right, so we're gonna put some more of this on. I'm just going to blow it this time and see my camera's almost or my phone's almost going down with my battery. Guys, it is like, ooh, this is a pretty color. It is like 62 degrees outside y'all. It's crazy. And it's been like so cold in the like last week and the week before. And now yesterday we had bad storms. Thunderstorms and all kinds of stuff. But that's what I've noticed is if you take the That's already kind of hardened up. Oh, well. But if you make sure the outside of the... Powder isn't around there. I've noticed that it stays on longer, so... But this one here, I don't think I wiped it soon enough. But it's okay. I'm just trying to... And I hope, I hope this one's like all the other ones where you like, if you want to do layers, you just keep t doing the top coat and then at the end you activate it and then you put the top coat on it. Because I've never done this one before, so we shall see y'all. So we're going to take this off. <clears throat> and I feel like I need another layer of this stuff on. But y'all, it feels so much like spring outside. It feels so good. Okay, so I think three. <sighs> three layers of this will be good. And I couldn't find my file, so if you need to file it, I normally do that. But since my nails are so short, I don't think I'm going to have to. But to file it down, to smooth it down, you just do that. And then you 
do another layer of it. It's pretty much like you, you'll do it and you'll get the hang of it and do it like however you like it the best because I know that probably don't make sense, but everybody has their own way of doing this. And you'll find some of the these dips, like I'm not talking about this brand, just overall. Like some of those stays on your nails longer, some of them don't. It's pretty much just like everything else, like all of your gel nail polishes and your nail polishes and acrylics and all that crap. So, and sometimes the different brands can go good with other people's body. And then others it don't work too well with. And y'all, I'm still kind of foggy from this COVID. So, if I sound like my words aren't all together, they're probably not. Because I have been taking so much medicine. Today, I haven't took, taken as much, thank the Lord. Because I'm telling you, yesterday I was so worried. Because I wasn't fit, like feeling well at all. And I kept coughing like all day long. Um... And, like, sometimes you get scared because, like, I had been sick for so long and, like, my cough sounds horrible, y'all. Like, I'm telling y'all, when I cough, it's not as, like, it still sounds bad today. But when I cough, it is freaking horrible. So, I'm going to do the activator on this last when I do all these. So, I'll just bring you guys along when I do this. Um... But I'm thankful that I'm feeling better and on the well side, y'all, on the well side. Okay, so... I have my doors open, my heat's off. And it feels nice out. So I'm doing all purple and like one pink on each finger. Very pretty color. I was going to do that like light color, the white one, but I couldn't get all this gel nail polish off my fingers. I mean, I soaked and soaked and soaked, but I had put a green gel nail polish on my nail and I, it took me forever to get what I could off and there was a lot left. So there's specks of green. So I figured if I'd done a dark color, you wouldn't be able to tell it that well. And then I'm going to do this one in pink. And then we're going to repeat the process over with this. And I, my nails wasn't that long yesterday, but they were a little bit long. And I went ahead and cut them off yesterday because I was going to do this. And some of them had been broken and I just wanted a fresh start and let them all grow out. And what I've learned with this, you, like all you really have to do is blow it. And then if you need to wipe it some with a brush, you can, but this don't cake up like that other stuff that I've used. 
And two, this purple's not glitter, so a lot of the glitter ones will do that. But my sweet daughter, Gracie, got me this for Christmas. All my kids got me something, and they asked me what I wanted, and I told them, like, I, of course I told them not, I didn't need anything. And then they're like, what do you want? So I told them, like, something that I liked or things that I liked, and they picked something out. And this is what Gracie got me. Because I had some of these, not this brand, but some from Walmart. That My friend got them from Walmart, and I think Amazon, that she had gave me. And she knew that I've been doing this, so she got me these, and I love it. I have some wonderful kids, y'all. Now, like this in here, I'm going to have to... Let me do this one here. So, a while ago, when I was Walmart, a package had come from FedEx. I guess it was FedEx or UPS one. I don't know which one it was. I didn't see it. I just heard the door shut and heard them drop it off. And anyways, that was out there. And so, I'd walked out at my door here, and I heard like a peck. And it was a little woodpecker out here on this, um, um, old tree. It's like part of it's alive and some of it's dead. And, uh. Oops. And it stayed there and stayed there. And I took a little video of it and a picture of it. And then when I opened the door to go out there, he flew off. But I thought that was interesting. Oh, no. But if you make sure the edges are clean off, like, you're going to have some markings, but, like, around the edges, like, right in here, make sure that's off. And that way, when it dries and you put the activator and then the top coat on it, um, it won't chunk, chunk up, like, during the week, and then they'll, like, start breaking off. Um, and, like, this one here, I didn't even freaking do, so I'm going to try to see if I can... And if you don't do it, like right when you see it, it's hard to get off. So, I may not be able to get that one. Oh, well. Now, was that, I think that was two. So, I need to do one more coat. I know sometimes... Normally, when you're getting your nails done, they'll tell you to wash your hands after you do the... Because of this powder and stuff. But I'm going to have to wait until it dries. Because I don't know how this works. I need to do another. See if there's anything on YouTube about it. <sighs> I have been off work. For a long time, y'all. I don't go back until... Um, I don't go back to work until next Tuesday. So, I missed quite a bit of work. This is not the break that I wanted. Um... This makes the second year right around the same time that I end up with COVID. The same exact time. It's crazy. And this time that I had COVID was t like every time that I get COVID is totally different. But this time, oh my gosh, this one was rough. Like I had just came down with the flu like what last month. And I, I'm like, this is worse than the last COVID that I had. Well, spoke too soon because when I had this time with COVID, this one was worse than the flu. 
And then all the, the other three times that I've had COVID, but the first time that I had COVID was, this one's more comparable from the first and this one here, but not as, not as bad as the first one to this, but y'all, it was something. And I still, with this crap you get like, you feel like you're like this morning I woke up and I'm like, okay, I feel better. My cough was still there. So I took some medicine and all this kind of stuff. And then, oops, oops. Um, that ain't good. It's all right though. But I had took some medicine and then I, man, that's. And then, um, um, I hadn't been able to drink really a whole full amount of coffee. And so this morning, <coughs> this morning I did. <coughs> and anyways, so I'd sat down and drank my coffee and feeling pretty good. And then all of a sudden I get this sickness. Like I feel, I felt so sick, like nausea thrown up. I know this is TMI, but then I started getting the diarrhea again. Um, apply a generous amount of activator after base coat, covering the edges, and then after activator, apply top coat to create a layer for shine and protect the nails from chipping. After dipping powder, please use a nail brush to remove excess powder from around the nail's surface. Use brush saver to clean the brush. Um... But anyways, y'all, I got so sick. My cough quit. Um, and I was just like, when I get sick, I kind of get depressed. I get just, I like, you feel bad anyways. And then, like, staying in the house. And I've watched so much TV and stuff. And I was praying. I was like, Lord, please let me get to feeling better. And I did. Like, after that, like, I watched a couple of shows. I've watched so many, like, TV shows and stuff. I need to sh share that with you guys. But all those ones that I... That was interesting to me. But, uh, <clears throat> but this crap will just hit you and you feel like you're getting better. And then, boom, you're right back, sick, coughing. So far, I'm not, that's the little first episode of coughing that I've had since that one. But, y'all, you know I'm sick when I can't drink coffee. Like, my taste is finally starting to come back, but I couldn't smell this time completely. Like, I couldn't smell hardly nothing. Uh, <laughs> and I guess where I'm talking so much, I'm starting to cough, but it's just been rough. So I hope everybody's staying well and all this kind of stuff. Um, now, Apply a generous amount of activator after base coat, covering the edges and capping the lids of the nails. Let dry for one minute. Okay, so now when we do number two, they also give us extra brushes, which is a good thing. Because I still have so much of the um, the powders and stuff. That box little thing's flapping and it's moving and it, I'm thinking it's something out there, but it's not. But out of the other one that I had that my friend gave me, the brush got clobby and you couldn't use it. So I'm like, okay, I can use a different brush. And I did. But there at the end, the the base coat got clumpy, like real clumpy. And I couldn't like thin it out any. And I tried to thin it out and that was just a catastrophe. So I was going to buy some more stuff. And then Christmas came around and so I got this. So I was like, you know. But it's a good thing that they give you extra brushes on this one with this little kit. And the brush saver that you dip down in there and clean off your brushes with, I guess. Um, I'm all over the place, y'all. So, this is the activator. And so, it said to put this on. Lord, I'm telling you. What, my brain is so cloudy and my thinking so cloudy. Um, after activator, apply top coat to create a layer. Okay, so... This activator is what we have to let on here for two minutes or for one minute. I need that freaking file. Oh. 
Oh my guys. This stuff should just peel off, but I hope it don't interact with my nails. So as you can see, that's what it looks like before I know it's not perfect. I'm just, this is trial and error crap right now. I'm not, I've not got really good at this yet. And then when you put this activator on, it brightens the color up for you. As you can see, there's that one and then the, you can tell a whole difference, like the color looks to totally different. So I have so many things to review for you guys. I got my big old package from, how do you pronounce that? Temu, T-E-M-U, I got this big old order. They gave me $200 worth of stuff to pick out and review. And uh, so I need to do, I might do that today if I start feeling better and do a haul on that. I have another box coming and then they emailed me again and said that they like my channel and they like how I do the haul videos and stuff like that. So they're letting me pick out more stuff. So super excited. Like I got a lot of good stuff y'all. Like I can't wait. And then, <clears throat> so I was going to start on my like healthy eating and drinking my water and doing this and doing that came down with this COVID. So I, I just threw that out of the water and I was like, you know what? Forget that. Um, and, uh, until I get better, cause I did not want to be using my gift that justice got me. He got me one of those circle. Is that how you pronounce it? One of those water bottle things. And, um, I'm super excited about that. I had cartridges, cartridges, can't say that word but um different flavors and stuff so that's going to get me on my healthy drinking my water so i got that for a gift and which i showed y'all my what i got for christmas thing um so i'm looking forward for that katie got me some I think it was a, a knife set and then Grace Gracie got me a t uh, like spoon and spatula uh, one of those tool sets for your kitchen and then <clears throat> Isaiah got me candles he got me a candle he got me um, What else did he get me? Lord, I can't even remember. Um, oh, some magnets for my kitchen. And something else. Candy and something else. I can't remember. But all of my stuff was so cute. And um, I had a really good Christmas. Like, it was great. Like, I loved every minute of it. Okay. And then it said the light to sit and wait for a minute. So that's what I'm going to do on this. Thank you guys for joining me and following along while I do this and give, giving me somebody to talk to. Um, but happy new years to everyone. I've got food on my mouth or something. What is that? Lord knows. But happy new year's to everybody and i hope everybody's had a good one um trying to get that off <clears throat> so even though my new year started crappy i'm still looking for a really good um exciting and healthy new year for all of us um so we got to stay positive and go with the flow and whatever comes our way we got to keep pressing forward Keep staying strong, and most importantly, keep your faith in the Lord and never give up. You got to keep pushing forward, keep pushing forward, and never give up, y'all. All right, so that should be about a minute for that, shouldn't it? Oh, and another thing. So yesterday and, like, the day before, all that I drank, well, I drank my 
I think the dye orange drink, and then I tried drinking a coffee, but like what I found that helped me the most was um, like hot tea. So I'll do like lemon and honey. I done um, this immune like uh, tea, um, and then I done my sleepy time tea. Like those like worked so well. So I was thankful for that because it was something actually that helped my throat and coughing and everything. Yeah, I know I'm rambling. Okay, so the next thing is the top coat. So we'll do the top coat and then we'll be done. And in these bottles, doesn't feel like there's a whole lot of product in here. So I don't know. I guess when I get out, I'll have to order online, like. But there's some that just has the, has two, um, like a base coat and a top coat. Well, no, it, it has a base coat, the bottom co coat, and then just the activator, and then you put the top coat back over it. So you just have a two two process. This one here is like a you have an extra one. But y'all, this is super easy, super simple. This will save you tons of money. Um and over in time you'll get used to doing it and you'll get like better progress. Um I'm still new at learning at doing this. I do not like doing my nails at all. <clears throat> I've always got my nails done, but since I'm learning how to do this and it's like saving me money, like tons of money, because like I was spending a lot of money every month to, to do my nails, which I mean, I didn't complain about it because it was something that I rewarded myself for because, I, you know, I work hard and all that stuff. So that was something that I enjoy doing. But this right here, it amazes me how well it stays on and how easy it is and you can just do it yourself and not have to spend all that money and that extra money you can just save for your kids or whatever um bills for extra stuff whatever you need it for but when this dries i'm gonna have to try to get and i probably should have done that before i done all this the access around it that's Oh, this is pretty, y'all. So it's not the perfect in the perfectest in the world, but it's a start. And I do like so far. I like this. At first, I was like, "Oh my gosh, it's so light." But this one, it took about three coats. You can do as many coats as you want. Um, but I've got to chip that off. As you can see, yeah, I've got some chippy stuff right there. But that's what it looks like, y'all. And so I've got to. Um, I haven't cleaned them off yet. I don't think I will this time. I don't feel like it. Um, <clears throat> I couldn't find my tool to get that off. I need to get me a grinding tool to where you can like grind that, grind your nails or whatever you need to do. That's one thing that I don't have yet that I want to get for my nails. And I don't even think they cost that much really. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for coming along. And I'm going to get off of here and let this dry. And until next time, guys, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.